Hello and welcome to Nerd Bytes. In this episode, we're talking about how to get started with alerts, how to create your first policies and your first conditions, and point those to a notification channel so that we can end up getting notified when there are problems with our data. So here you can see that I am in alerts and AI and I'm already under policies. This is where we're going to start. A policy is essentially a folder containing multiple conditions. So we'll need a, fo a policy before we can go and start creating some alert conditions. Let's go ahead and create a policy. I'm going to call this Nerdbyte. I'm going to leave incident preference as default, but please do check out the incident preference Nerdbytes episode to see why this is a really important setting to get your head around. We're going to create the policy as is, and now you can see that we have a policy. We have this folder that doesn't yet have any conditions in there. So let's go ahead and get some created. Right now, I have a few synthetics monitors that are hitting my website and validating that everything is up and online. But I'm not currently being told about that. So I'm going to target my synthetics monitors. I'm going to check for a single failure. So if any of my monitors fail, I want to be notified about it immediately. So I'm going to go here for my simple browser monitor. I'll call this simple browser failure. And now I have the option to add a runbook URL. This is typically a link off to a Google Doc or an internal wiki page, whatever it may be, to help whoever it is that gets these notifications to figure out how to troubleshoot this a lot faster. I don't have a runbook URL to add in here, but if you do, you definitely can. I'll remove that field and create this condition. So now we have our folder here, this policy, and it has some conditions in there. It's got one condition right now, and we can go ahead and add another. Let's just do the same thing. We'll do it for a different monitor type now. We'll do it for the ping monitor. I'm gonna call this ping failure. And we'll save that. So now we have multiple conditions within this policy. So now if any problems come up, these will generate violations and those violations will create incidents. It is those incidents that will then send some notifications. But right now we can see that we're not currently targeting any notification channels. So I'm going to just come over here, add a notification channel, and I'm going to point this to my Nerdbytes Slack channel. So now if any problems do come up, any incidents are created, as soon as those incidents are created, I'll get an incident opened notification here in Slack. I have the option then to acknowledge that incident and that will send another notification. And then once that incident closes, I'll get a third notification. That's it, there's plenty more to alerts, so check out the docs in the description below. But for now, thank you for watching.